All right, folks, Eric here. And uh, I haven't done one of these in a long time and I really wish I had more time to do this. Actually, I wish I had more space on my phone to do this, but I don't. I've used like almost, I've used like 62 gigs of 64 gigs on my phone. <laughs> I'm, I'm a terrible pack rat when it comes to stuff on the phone. But I ain't gonna do this very long. What I wanna do is put together like a little blog, a vlog or whatever about uh, my experience with uh, the Steve Vai concert this year. I'll be traveling right now. I'm traveling to Nashville to watch Steve Vai at the CMA um, Museum, I think that's what it is, Country Music Association Museum. And he is on his Inviolate tour off of his new album. See, last year, he was supposed to come in November, I think, and we already bought tickets, already went there. And I was, um, we had got there and everything, we was ready, we was excited to watch the show. And then we talked to the guy that was inside. We called the place because nobody was there. The doors weren't open. And come to find out, we had gotten an email and did not know this. I'd gotten an email at like three o'clock that afternoon, which we was already gone by then, that uh, Steve wouldn't be able to make it that night because their tour bus had messed up. They had a problem with the tour bus. So I was like real upset about that. And man, I was like, man, I won't be able to see him. And he, sent an email out to everybody talking about how upset he was that he couldn't make it either and he was gonna make it up to us next summer. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, he he might wanna say that, he might mean good, but with his schedule and everything, I don't know if he'll be able to do it. Turns out he's able to do it, and so far, all fingers and toes crossed, I have not got any email or anything saying that the show's canceled. So tonight, I'm on my way to Nashville to watch Steve Vai for probably the, I wanna say sixth time or something like that. I'm excited about this. I brought my earplugs. I always bring earplugs to a concert because they do get loud. But uh, one of my favorite guitarists of all time, my story with Steve Vai is about 2000, well, about 97, I guess, right after the first G3 uh, album came out with Satriani, Vai, and Eric Johnson. Uh, I found out about them in, I think it was Sam Goody's by then. It might've been might have been Tower Records back then. I don't remember what it was, but there was a store and I just happened to see this and I was, you know, probably about three, four years in the guitar myself, getting interested in electric guitar. And I saw, I seen the cover and I was like, man, that would be so cool to see what they're doing. And I was blown away when I heard, uh, I think it was Cool Number Nine by uh, Satch. Cool, cool, no. Cool Number Nine, cool something. I can't remember, it's been so long since I've listened to that track. I can't remember what it was. Uh, and then of course, Steve Vai's stuff, his whole For the Love of God stuff that he did at the beginning completely blew me away. Eric Johnson, I heard Manhattan, I think for the first time, was blown away by that. And uh, so that was my story as far as, you know, how I got introduced to Steve Vai. Well, come fast forward about three or four years, about 2001, I think it was, Steve Vai and Joe Satriani both came out with their double live album. And it's still to this day, my favorite Satriani album and my favorite Steve Vai album. I love, love, love those albums. Matter of fact, it'd be awesome if he could, if uh, Vai tonight would play some of those songs from the, uh, the Alive in an Ultra World album. Songs like Burning Rain and Babushka. And of course, he's he's continued to play Whispering a Prayer and Giant Balls of Gold. He's done those for years and those are a staple in his repertoire. It'd be nice to hear some of those tonight. It'd be nice. But uh, that's how I started listening to them. Around the time I was getting introduced to Steve Ray Vaughan, I was getting introduced to more of these virtuoso guitarists and, and guitarists who could, you know, they just shred uh, the heads off of everybody. And that was before I even knew about, really, about Eddie Van Halen. But uh, that's that's my story with Vi. And not long after that, obviously, I started picking up Passion and Warfare, Steve Vi's album, a bunch of Satriani albums. And, and today I've got a lot of their albums and I try to buy the newest one whenever they come out. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to tonight. So I'm gonna put some, probably if I've got some space on this uh, phone and if it's allowed, if I can get away with it, I guess. I, you know, it, concerts and all this, it's kind of touch and go. I'm gonna post some footage, hopefully the concert tonight. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the uh, footage because I've done that before, tape a whole concert and really miss the live experience. So I'm gonna try to post you a few clips of that, maybe some pictures, and maybe talk about the experience after this is over with either later on tonight or when I get ready to start editing this video. So keep, stay tuned. Hopefully there's some more stuff coming and um, it, it's awesome to do another one of these vlogs for you. I'll talk to you later. All right, so now I'm here at Panda Express and ordering the same thing you get every time. 
and that is chow mein, love this stuff. Uh, by the way, I get the, the bigger plate, which includes three items and then a side. So I've got, I always get two extra helpings of the grilled chicken and I add uh, the teriyaki chicken and I always ask for extra teriyaki sauce. So that's the good stuff. And then Beijing beef, love Beijing beef, love this stuff. So I thought let's treat myself today, make a good day out of it, concert day here at Panda Express. Thanks Panda Express for awesome food. You know what else I love on a good road trip? Baskin Robbins Cappuccino Blast. Yeah, buddy. Today I'm opted for the original, but I always make them with Jamocha Almond Fudge. Good little tip for you. Try that out sometime. All right, so I'm here, I made it. I am in Nashville, about to, uh, it's about 7.30 almost. Show starts at eight, the doors are already open. They open at seven, so perfect timing. I got time to just right, got just enough time. Run to the restroom real quick and uh, find my seat. And maybe even, maybe even look at the merch booths and see what all they got. I'm hoping that, uh, I've seen Steve Vai recently wearing this Hydra guitar pin, the one with the three necks he recently had built for the album. I'm hoping he has some of those pins available that you, you know you can clip onto your guitar strap or whatever. That's what I plan on doing if I can get one of these. So wish me luck on that. Here we go. All right, folks. Here we are, CMA Theater. It's the Music Hall of Fame. Steve Vai, there he is, right there. Check it out. Can't wait. It's happening tonight. Some couple songs I got to hear from Larry Mitchell. I'm very surprised and excited that he is here. Uh, he's going to be at the merch booth here in just a little bit. You won't be able to see me, but uh, Vi is coming up next, and we are excited about that. So, uh, I wouldn't say packed house, but it's close. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I, I'm guessing they start at 7:30 for the opening show. I thought it was going to start at 8, but uh, that's all right. I'm still glad I got to see him, so that's awesome. And hope you're enjoying the footage so far back to the show.
Tolerance. 